Y'all, so the most embarrassing thing happened. I just pooped my pants on my 22 mile run on mile five and a half. If you're a runner, chances are at some point you will have a code brown alert. I had to speed waddle like a penguin with a clenched sphincter back to my house just two weeks ago. 30 to 90% of runners report tummy troubles, including needing to stop mid run to defecate or the worst nightmare, fecal incontinence. The mid run chocolate flood is usually triggered by a combination of mechanical jostling and the bouncing of the intestines that could irritate the gut lining or certain dietary triggers like high FODMAP foods, caffeine, spicy or fatty meals. Plus, stress hormones can accelerate colonic motility. Common anti-diarrhea strategies include reducing trigger foods like tapering your fibre intake 12 to 24 hours before a big run, and skipping your morning coffee time if caffeine sets off your bowel movement countdown timer. Three to four hours before a run, skip high FODMAP foods and skip heavy fats or large protein loads. These can be harder to digest with lower blood flow to the gut. Your best friend will be low residue carbs. It's smart to rehearse your pre-run diet and your mid-run fueling strategy. Training your gut with a repeated fueling protocol gets your body accustomed to whatever you are feeding it, decreasing the risk of unwanted surprises in your undergarments. Hydration is key too. Too much plain water or excessively sugary sports drinks which are hypertonic can draw water into the gut and cause osmotic diarrhea. A scientific way of saying expect unexpected items in your bagging area. Be smart to minimise risk but understand there is a reason that marathon courses are littered with porta potties.